about two years ago now, my wife and I decided to put a nice little home gym in our basement and we originally bought just a cheap little exercise bike that we would use for cardio and recently that bike ended up breaking down and so we decided that we wanted something that was a little bit more robust and a little bit more exciting to use to replace the old bike. We spent a lot of time looking up different interactive bikes as I'll call them, but we ended up stumbling on this bike here which is called the Boom Bike. And what we really liked about this bike was the small footprint of it. So we live in a pretty small bungalow and while our basement does have a large space, we didn't want to dedicate all of the basement to the workout space. So the boom bike actually was able to fit very, very nicely in the corner of our gym area. What I also liked about the boom bike was once it actually came to the house, it was very easy to assemble. So I was able to actually do it by myself. I think the recommendation is two people, but I did it alone and it took me about 35 to 40 minutes to get it done. What I really liked about the assembly is that all of the pieces weren't just thrown into a random bag and you're kind of fishing through and counting everything yourself. Everything came on a nice cardboard sheet. All of the tools that you needed and all of the screws, et cetera, that you needed were already separated for you and sort of vacuum sealed on with the steps right beside it. So you knew exactly what you needed at exactly the right time. So it was a very, very nice assembly process and very, very easy to put together. I'm a pretty large guy. I'm about six foot three and 215 pounds. And my wife, she is much smaller than me. She's five foot five. And the bike is able to accommodate both of our sizes. I think the maximum that it goes up to is six foot four. And the smallest height, I'm guessing, is around four foot 11. Either way, both of us are able to sit on the bike extremely comfortably. And like I said, there is that extra inch. If you're someone who's six foot four and a little bit heavier than myself, then you should be able to sit on it comfortably as well. I like that the seat is adjustable both forward and back, and you're able to adjust both the seat height and the handlebar height to whatever the fit is that you need. So it makes it a very, very comfortable ride. Now, as I said, I've never used an interactive bike before, so I didn't really know what to expect in terms of the types of classes that you'd be able to take and how easy it is to sort of jump into everything that's going on but so far the process has been pretty seamless the classes are very engaging there's a number of different lengths so if you just need a quick 15 minute workout on your lunch break or you get home from work and you want to bang out a 30 minute ride options there are pretty much endless on top of that, you've got yoga classes and stretching classes. And what makes it really, really nice is the fact that the tablet is fully articulating. So you're able to rotate it 360 degrees. So let's say you want to do the yoga class and you have your mat set up somewhere else in the room. You can just rotate that tablet. You have that nice big screen there for you. The volume on it is pretty nice and loud. So you're able to do any of those workouts directly from the bike without having to move the entire bike itself. Another thing that I like about the class offerings is the fact that you don't always have to do one of those interactive classes with the music going and someone yelling instructions to you. If you just want to go on a 45 minute ride by yourself or you set out that you want to do a 30K ride by yourself, you're able to do that while still having music playing in the background or whatever the case is without having to worry about doing those classes and competing with other people and all of that stuff. So you can take it whichever direction you want, whether you want that competitive side where you're on the leaderboard, looking how you stack up against other people that have done the same class, or if you just want to ride on your own, use it on your own time, it's totally up to you. Now, a couple of things that I like about the riding experience, specifically coming from someone who's done a couple of spin classes in my life. One thing that I really, really appreciate with this bike is the fact that while you're sitting on it, you have that resistance knob pretty much right directly between your legs. And I'm used to sitting on those bikes and not really knowing how much resistance I'm applying to the bike at any given moment. You kind of just turn it until it feels right with the boom bike. Once you turn it, you get that immediate feedback on the screen. So you've got a resistance meter that is numerical. So let's say for the last three weeks I've been riding and whenever the instructor tells me to make it more intense, I put it up to 47. At least now I have that number in my mind. So I know that I'm improving where on week four, I might've put it up to 49 or 50. And you can see that you're actually improving and getting stronger, building your endurance while you're on the bike. So it's a really, really nice subtle feature, but one that I never really knew that I needed. In addition to that, the bike has a smart saddle. So it knows when you sit up off that seat or sat back down and changes the resistance accordingly to get you some pretty nice results where you're not even having to think about constantly changing the dials back and forth. It just does it for you. And again, if you don't like it, you can override that by affecting the resistance knob on your own. Another major feature that I really appreciate about this is the fact that I'm able to ride it at any time during the day without affecting anybody else 
in the house. So if I want to do a ride with an instructor or just the loud music playing from the tablet, I'm able to let the tablet do it. If my wife is asleep and I want to ride because she works shift work, I'm actually able to connect my headphones via Bluetooth to the tablet. And now I've got that music directly in my ears. The instructions are directly in my ears and the bike is relatively silent. So you don't really hear much while you're riding. And so even if you lived in a condo or a much smaller space that doesn't have two floors and you're worried about bothering somebody or waking somebody up that might be on the same floor as you. You can rest assured that just by connecting your Bluetooth headphones to that tablet, you're not going to wake them up with the sound of your pedaling. And finally, they've got what they call a virtual oasis experience. And I find that it's a really engaging tool because it gamifies the idea of riding on the bike. So anyone else that has a boom bike, similar to other brands that you probably heard of, or if you have an Apple watch, for example, and you do the uh, gamified workouts, you're able to constantly be competing against other people. So that gamified experience makes it a little bit more engaging because we all know how boring it could be to just ride on a bike or run on a treadmill while staring at a wall, especially if you don't have it set up near a window. At least now you've got something that's engaging you. You're able to ride to the beat and gain points as you're doing it. It kind of reminds me of uh, Dance Dance Revolution, except you're exercising, you're on a bike and you're having fun. So all in all, it's been a pretty good experience. And this bike is very well priced. So typically you can find it for around 699 USD. And that includes a 45 day membership to the Oasis experience. But I believe right now it's on sale for even cheaper than that. And as you can probably see down in my description, I've also got an affiliate link down there for you to make it even cheaper for those of you that might want to pick this bike up for yourselves. Or they also have other models um, that you can buy that might be more fitting for your space. As I said, the boom bike for us just has a very small footprint, has those features that we need that make it silent so either of us can ride without distracting the other person. And then the overall gamified experience just makes it a true pleasure to ride. And so again, I'll leave my code down below in the description, which gives you another $100 off of whatever price they have it advertised for. So right now it's 650 bucks. You use my code, you can get it for 550. And so that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions or concerns or want to know anything specific about the bike, feel free to ask me down below. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.